Well, I think it's a very important evolution that we can live in our personal life and that many studies show that men and young men in particular definitely have a different approach to the household and want to be more involved as fathers and have a different vision of careers and want to balance their life more. Uh, and that goes against the stereotypes that affect men uh, as well as going against the stereotypes that against women. So we can see more and more uh, different kinds of couple, uh, couples where the woman is actually uh, driven by her career and the, and, and the man one wants to look after the children. This is more and more common. But I don't think, uh, so it is, this is a progress clearly because it increases increases the possibility for individuals, whether men or women, uh, to, to actually choose uh, the, the kind of lives they want to have, their own conceptions of the good, as the philosophers would say. Um, but at the same time, I don't think that this evolution, this progressive evolution, is inevitable and that, and, or, or linear. I think it's up to um, social, political actors as much as up to the individuals themselves to make these um, evolutions go further. There's never anything in progressive change which is determined in advance and which is inevitable. So this is a good, um, a good, um, a good point and a good uh, a progressive uh, point to make and something to notice. But I think there are also a lot of regressive um, evolutions, a lot of uh, problems that are affecting women now and that used to not affect them. And so I think we have to look at that as well, as well as also not be only negative, but not be too optimistic either. <laughs>